imagine yourself in a combat zone. Chaos is all around, bullets are whizzing by, explosions are shaking the ground. You need to cross a dangerous area, but mines, ambushes, and anti-tank rockets stand in your way. A regular armored vehicle might not survive such an onslaught. But then comes the massive, heavy, and reliable Namer. A machine capable of protecting its troops even in the most dangerous situations. What is this vehicle, how did it come to be, and why is it considered one of the most protected in the world? Let's find out. Israel has always placed great importance on protecting its soldiers. The country constantly faces threats, so every combat unit must be as effective as possible. For a long time, the infantry used light armored personnel carriers APCs, like the M113, but they proved vulnerable to modern weapons. In 2004, a decision was made to create a heavy APC that could survive the harshest combat conditions. This led to the birth of the Namer. The Namer is based on the Merkava 4 tank, one of the most well-protected tanks in the world. Its armor can withstand hits from the most powerful munitions, and its hull design ensures crew safety even in the event of a mine explosion. Engineers took this reliable chassis, removed the turret, and added a spacious troop compartment. The result was a heavy APC capable of not only transporting infantry but also shielding them from any threats. One of Namer's greatest advantages is its armor. The vehicle weighs around 63.5 tons, with most of that weight dedicated to protection. Its composite armor, made from modern materials, makes it nearly impervious to anti-tank missiles. Additionally, it is equipped with the Trophy Active Protection System, which destroys incoming missiles before they can strike the vehicle. This ensures that soldiers remain safe even in the most intense combat zones. To understand Namer's level of protection, consider this scenario. A standard M113 APC weighs about 12 tons and only provides protection against bullets and shrapnel. If it gets hit by a missile or a mine, the crew has little chance of survival. But the Namer is so sturdy that even after a direct hit from an anti-tank missile, it remains operational, and the crew suffers no serious injuries. But protection is not everything. The Namer is also equipped with powerful weaponry. In its standard version, it features the remotely operated Samson RCWS combat module. This module can be armed with either an M2 Browning heavy machine gun or an MK19 automatic grenade launcher. In recent years, variants with a 30mm automatic cannon and spike anti-tank missiles have been introduced, turning the Namer into not just an infantry shield but a formidable combat unit in its own right. Operating the Namer is no more difficult than controlling a tank. The crew consists of three people, a driver, a commander, and a weapons operator. They work from within a well-protected hull, while troops are seated in the spacious troop compartment. Unlike many APCs, the Namer features a wide rear ramp for quick and efficient deployment, allowing soldiers to exit rapidly when needed. The Namer saw its first combat action in 2008 during Operation Cast Lead in the Gaza Strip. During this mission, it demonstrated incredible survivability. In 2014, during Operation Protective Edge, these vehicles once again proved their effectiveness, withstanding anti-tank missile strikes without losing crew members. Israel continues to develop this technology. Today, the Israel Defense Forces, IDF, have more than 290 namers in service, and this number continues to grow. There are plans to create specialized versions, including command and engineering vehicles, making the Namer a versatile tool on the battlefield. To sum up, the Namer is not just an APC. It is a fortress on tracks that protects soldiers and allows them to complete their missions with maximum efficiency. Its armor, weaponry, and defensive systems make it one of the best vehicles in its class. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about military technology, subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and leave a comment about which vehicles you'd like to see in future episodes. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.